Now, for our purposes right now, we look to see do we have first name, yes, last name, email, period, which is important if I want to sort the data, and then what is your favorite subject just for fun. Now, a few other things we can do is I can go into theme and I can actually change the appearance of this when it's published. And the theme gives me a chance to add some color. Sorry, saving. Okay, I had a little error there. All I did was go back and do it again. And I can make it look so like a holiday look. I can, uh, I can choose from a variety of different things. So sometimes that adds a little bit to it. Let's, for, I'm probably going to end up using this myself, but let's just add this one. The spring one looks nice. And we'll save that one. So I'll apply that. And now here's the important part, right down here at the bottom. You can view the published form right here. This is the URL. Now there's a variety of different ways you can share this. We can, uh, we could send an email to every student, but that would be kind of silly because we don't have their emails yet, so we can't do that, but we could choose email this form for other form uses. We can also have, um, have this, this is a web page, and I can have that embedded into a, uh, a website or a link from a website I own. So if I have a, I'm a classroom teacher and I have a, a, a classroom website, I can send students to that uh, web address by pasting that in. Uh, I can go to some of the, the, uh, the shortener sites and like tiny URL and I could pay, you know, have a tiny smaller uh, uh, URL uh, given so that students could easily remember uh, and go to this long address. Or I could literally just enter my own information if I don't want to involve the students in this. Uh, I can involve them later, let's say. So I'm going to say I can see so when I click on that link, there's my web page. And I could actually, let's say I'm, my, I'm going to enter, enter in some student data myself, and so I'm going to put um, Abe, and let's see here, Lincoln, and Abe's email is going to be AXL, okay, and that would be 543, at mymail.lausd.net. And he's in my period one class. And uh, Abe's favorite subject, uh, as far as I can tell, is English. He's a, a ferocious reader. And uh, he seems to have uh, uh, some interest in history. And I'm going to submit. And of course, I get this response saying, I've, my entry will now appear, and if I go back, I can actually go back and enter more uh, uh, data into the spreadsheet. Now, let's see what we have. I'm going to go back to my Google Docs page here, so I'm going to click on that, that tab. And inside, let's see, let me refresh the page here, or go to All Items. I have a Mr. Lenhart Student Contact Spreadsheet. Now, that spreadsheet hasn't been put in the folder yet, I'll do that in a minute. And here's my entry I did for Abe Lincoln in my class. And uh, so what we'll do now is I'm going to, in the next video, have a completed form uh, done either by the students or by myself. And then we'll see how to put that into context or modify the spreadsheet to make it even easier to put into context depending on your needs.